Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. This is Cypher Box. So the other day I did a video uh, where I talked about Tevin Farmer, about Tevin Farmer signing with Eddie Hearn and DAZONE and that his next few fights will be on DAZONE. He's part of Matchroom USA now. And I just read this article on BoxingScene.com where the title read, so just give me a sec. Hearn, we made a huge offer to Davis. His promoters declined. Okay, so it's no secret that Eddie Hearn's been after Javante Davis. Um, and this is what he basically had to say. You look at the division. There's Miguel Belchant and Javante Davis, stated Hearn. There's super fights to be made and we have Farmer and a piece of the jigsaw. Now we have to get the other pieces. Javante Davis, he'll be desperate for that fight. We can pay him more money than anyone else can. Hearn goes on to say, We've already made a huge offer for Davis to Mayweather Promotions and for some reason they turned it down and didn't want to do that. The public demand will say you have to make this unification. Of course, he's going to want, want the fight. It's a good fight, a lot of trash talking, and it's a unification. Now, here's my take on this when it comes to Javante Davis. I believe Javante Davis wants the big fights. Yeah, He does want to take on these guys. I believe he wants to fight Tevin Farmer. He wants to fight Lomachenko. I think a lot of it surrounds the issues with Mayweather Promotions. Now, lately, he's been having a few problems with Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather Promotions. He's not. He's been showing signs that he's not happy there. And I think a lot of that's around from the way he's commenting is around that he's not getting the fights I suppose he wants. Now, I know he's supposed to fight. Is it Abner Mares next? I believe that's been lined up for him. But here's my take on all of this. Is Look, first of all, I want to say that, you know what? I'm not one of these people. I said this in my video the other day that I did a long lengthy video on the zone and my thoughts on the zone. I'm not one of these people hating on the zone. You know what? I think it's a good idea. And I, I've said it out loud that, you know what? Best of luck to Eddie, you know, and good luck to Eddie Hearn and Matchroom USA with that venture and the zone, of course, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be one of these guys, oh, you know, with a voodoo doll or whatever, and, you know, start hoping that, you know, it crashes and burns. There's a lot of people out there who are being, who are taking that approach. I'm not going to be one of those people. And no one can say I'm, you know, some Eddie Hearn fanboy because I'm not, because as you know, I've been very critical of Eddie Hearn in terms of the uh, the Wilder Joshua negotiations. Um, you know, I've been been hugely critical of Eddie Hearn. I've probably, be, I've probably been one of his biggest critics, critics on YouTube, let's be honest. Um, but... Look, I believe Juante Davis wants these fights, but I think Mayweather promotion, they've said it before, you know, I think Leonard Ellaby said it in a, in a press conference once, he said that we have a plan. When he was asked about, when Juante Davis was asked, who do you want to fight next? Do you want to fight Lomachenko? And it was kind of, Leonard Ellaby then straight away stepped in and said, we have a plan for Juante. We've got a plan set out to him. Lomachenko, good luck to him. You know, he's a good fighter, etc. But we have a plan set out for Juante Davis and we're going to follow that plan. You know, and I feel like, he may be at a point where he's potentially, I'm just going on what I think, you know, my opinion on what I'm seeing, but I feel like he may think, Javante David may be feeling like he's being held back, you know, in terms of, you know, taking these fights and taking these big fights. Um, Cause he has expressed a lot of frustration in the last year or so with Floyd Mayweather and Mayweather promotions. I think the one of the reasons that, you know, Floyd Mayweather's team might have turned it down one, they, because they don't even want the fight, which I don't understand because Javante Davis is a very good fighter. Terran Farmer is a very good fighter as well. But, you know, you must feel a bit of confidence that Javante can beat Terran Farmer. You know, I don't know who's going to win that fight. I think it's a good fight, period. As a boxing fan, I want to see it. I really want to see it. Um, but I believe that the politics are playing into play here a little bit. You know, Eddie Hearns, he's getting a lot of, I suppose, resistance in America regarding DAZN and Matchroom USA and their, their new venture. Um, Mayweather is linked with Al Heyman. And to be fair, Eddie Hearn has probably taken the wrong approach is one of the things I said in my video when I talked about DAZN. I said the pros and cons of Eddie Hearn's approach. And one of them was that the way he went in there saying that the, all the managers and promoters in the US are gonna be quaking in their boots. Uh, and started to kind of like, I suppose, downplay Al Heyman's success with his PBC brand and in a sense being quite disrespectful to Al Heyman and I feel Mayweather you got to remember Mayweather has a very strong relationship with Al Heyman yeah he respects the hell out of Al Heyman and he's very loyal to Al Heyman so if he sees like this as something that may 
may hurt Al Heyman or the PBC brand by taking one of its top fighters or top names in Javante Davis and sticking him on the zone, he's not going to allow that to happen. Do you understand what I mean? I think there's there's a bit of politics involved in that. You know, where Eddie's saying, I don't understand why they, they, you know, they don't want to do that. Well, there's a reason behind it. If Eddie Hearn had taken a different approach when he entered into the US market, instead of being the way he was, he came off very arrogant with an ego and really talking a lot of smack about these promoters and these managers out in the US. And I said, one of the things for him to make the zone work out there, he's going to have to work with these promoters and these managers in order to get their fighters to fight on the zone. Going out there and insulting them and, and, you know, knocking their achievements, you're just going to get their backs up immediately, you know. And I feel this is where the problem is going to lie now, trying to get Javante Davis on the zone. And remember, Javante Davis is under contract, promotional contract with Mayweather Promotion, so he can't just leave and jump onto the zone. Um, and obviously, Al Heyman's his advisor, because he and Javante Davis speaks highly of Al Heyman as well. He speaks really high. He doesn't have, he's got an up and down relationship with Floyd Mayweather at the moment, but he speaks very highly of Al Heyman. And I think, you know, this fight's probably not going to happen, definitely not on the zone because of the politics, which is a shame because I think it's a really good fight, you know, and I really would like to see it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope they could find a middle ground and work it out so we could see the fight. Um, but it, I'm, you know, I just, that's just my opinion on the whole situation personally. Um, like I said, you know, I want I really want to see the fight, but I think politics again in this situation, which is frustrating, is going to get in the way. And I think we're going to find a lot of these sort of situations where the politics are going to get in the way. Don't get me wrong. You know, Tevin Farmer and even Lou DeBella has buried the hatchet with Eddie Hearn and they've done good business with each other. You know, um, even Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn have managed to make the Andre, um, the Andre versus uh, Billy J. Saunders fight, you know, which we never thought would happen. It would end up going to purse bits because neither one of them would be willing to back down. So I'm hoping that they may find a way around this and this fight with Tevin Farmer and Javante Davis does get made, be, made because as a boxing fan all I want to do is see these fights I'm tired of all this you know all these allegiances you have now you've got people out there you know who are loyal fan bases I'm talking about you know fans are loyal to Eddie Hearn fans loyal to Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather and etc and all that sort of stuff you know what you're boxing fans you should just be demanding for the fight that's it you know that's that's what I demand for as a boxing fan I don't care I don't have allegiances to Eddie Hearn or Al Heyman or Joshua or Wilder or Canelo or Triple G or any of fight. I don't have allegiances to anyone in boxing. Yeah, I'm a neutral boxing fan. I've said this before. And as a boxing fan, I want to see the best fights. And this is a great fight and I want to see it. And something else that just comes to my mind before I finish the video is that I didn't mention it a second ago, but Floyd Mayweather is also very loyal to Showtime Sports. And, you know, Steven Espinosa as well, because he's played a massive part in Floyd making a lot of money. So again, you know, this is what I'm talking about. The politics are getting in the way of these big fights from happening. You know, I just hope they can work through it. And we, we as the boxing fans, you know, hopefully don't lose out. But we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. Leave you, give me your opinions, of course. As always, guys, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Cyfebox reminding you to keep it real.